Green hydrogen is a clean energy carrier that is rapidly gaining popularity as a way to decarbonize the global economy. It is produced by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using renewable energy sources. Water electrolysis is used to produce green hydrogen, which entails breaking the water molecules with an electric current in an electrolyzer to release hydrogen. In order to qualify as green or renewable, the electricity must be carbon-free in and of itself. There are two main types of electrolysis, alkaline electrolysis and proton exchange membrane, PM, electrolysis, that are already commercialized. Alkaline is inexpensive, while PM is more efficient. These, however, require critical components like membrane. Hydrogen has a flammability threshold of just 4%, meaning hydrogen mix with oxygen beyond 4% poses an explosion risk. Membranes are, hence, critical components in electrolysis that allow separation of the two gases, hydrogen and oxygen. However, membranes also have some limitations. One limitation is that they are expensive to produce. Membranes generally account for 20 to 25% of the overall stack cost. Another limitation is that membranes introduce electrical resistivity leading to ohmic losses and cell efficiency reduction. Membraneless electrolyzers are a novel type of electrolyzer that uses fluid dynamic strategies instead of solid barriers to separate product gases. The electrolyzer uses forced fluid flow or buoyancy to separate the oxygen and hydrogen evolved before they can cross over to the opposing electrode. Now, Let's take a look at various types of membraneless electrolyzers. The first one is a simple microfluidics electrolyzer, wherein the electrolyte flows in a microcanal gap between two opposing electrodes. The microcanal gap is less than 10 micrometers wide, resulting in a highly viscous or laminar flow that eliminates fluid mixing. The resulting hydrogen and oxygen bubbles do not mix and flow in a separate stream closer to the surface of their respective electrode. Rima, a spin-out from Switzerland's École Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne is working to develop this type of electrolyzer. The second type of membraneless electrolyzer is the one that uses a porous electrode. Here, the electrolyte is forcefully pumped through two opposite electrodes, which are made up of porous material. The oxygen and hydrogen gases are made to flow into two separate channels upon evolution. There are two types of arrangements in this type. One uses a parallel arrangement, reaching a maximum efficiency of 77%, while another uses two opposite electrodes at an inclination that reduces pumping power and increases overall system efficiency to 82%. Besides Rima, some other startups working in this technology are SHIP, a Columbia University spin-out that is developing a membraneless electrolyzer that is based on the divergent porous electrode arrangement. The electrolyzer also uses seawater instead of pure distilled water. SHIP has raised a total of $62.1 million in three funding rounds, the latest led by Aslinoba Capital and Draft Ventures. Another is the UK's Clean Power Hydrogen or CPH2, a startup that has developed the IP protected membraneless electrolyzer, which is paired with a cryogenic separation technology to result in a high purity hydrogen. Clean Power Hydrogen has containerized 1 megawatt 450 kilograms per day. MFE 220 solution has a stack efficiency of 78% and is ready for the market. Clean Power Hydrogen has already shipped two 1 megawatt units to New Zealand's Fabrum Solutions and has received another order for one MFE 220 unit from the Japanese construction company Obayashi Corporation. Yet another startup is India's New Trace, which is developing an electrolyzer that utilizes a patent pending precision fluid engineering design for gas separation without any membrane. The startup raised $5.56 million in seed funding from Sequoia Capital. Detailed technology information on its electrolyzer stack is unknown. However, it plans to put it into manufacturing soon. Membraneless electrolyzers are less costly, more efficient, and have reduced sensitivity to impurities. Hence, these types of electrolyzers can also be used for producing hydrogen using alkaline seawater. In conclusion, Membraneless electrolyzers have the potential to be one of the disruptive technologies for producing low-cost green hydrogen.
If you want to know more about such energy technologies or speak to our energy consultants, you can connect with us on futurebridge.com.